Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video. In today's video, I want to show you how we can use templates in Microsoft Outlook, but specifically use them through the pinning mechanism in Windows 7 and Windows 10. So let's start off with just creating template emails in Outlook. To create a new template email, you just create a new email by hitting the new email button and then filling in all the things that should be part of the template. So if, for example, you need to send out a templated email about something like, um, let's say, a, an upcoming board meeting or an important po point in a specific project, you might always, let's say, CC your boss. And let's say my boss's name is June. And it might always be the same subject line, something like uh, project XXX check-in, right? And uh, one quick point about this, anytime that you have a signature that automatically gets added to your emails, remember that your signature will be automatically added to, to your template as well. So you actually don't want to include your signature in the template itself. It'll get tacked on when you write the new email. And it'll be something like, um, hello everyone, it is time to check in about your project, please discuss with June uh, the appropriate time and place. Okay, so that's enough. Um, and we hit, instead of send, we go to file, save as, and we save it as an Outlook template format. So you see right there, Outlook template format. I hit save. And now I can close this email because it's served its purpose. I don't need to save the changes. But the problem is that when you create templates in Outlook, they are not easy to get to. Uh, this is how you get to them. You go to New Items, down to More Items. You choose Choose Form from the submenu More Items. And then from this dialog box, even this first screen isn't the right screen. You hit the drop down menu and you go to user templates in the file system. And, and right there, there is the project uh, XXXX check in. Okay, right? And you click open and you've got this new email that already uh, has CC June on it. It already has the right subject line. And as you can see, remember what I said earlier, it tacks on my signature at that point. So I don't like this. So I'm going to close it. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to pin that template file. Now to do that, I need to know where the template file is. And the easiest way to find that is to go to new items, to go to more items, go to choose form, and then choose from the drop down menu user templates in the file system. And you can see right here, it's telling you that it is in C users, it's in your uh, username, app data, roaming, Microsoft templates. I'm just going to highlight all of that and copy it. It's probably the fastest way to get there. And what I'm going to do is go down to my search bar down in the bottom left hand corner, click paste to paste that location in there. And you see it says, oh yeah, there is a file folder there at C users, da 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 slash templates. Do you wanna go there? And I click on it and as you can see, oh, came up on my other monitor there. As you can see, here's my templates folder and the project check-in email is there. It is available to me. So now watch what we do at this point. We click and drag a templated email down to the Outlook icon on your taskbar and let go. And as you can see, it is now pinned to this jump menu. Uh, project check-in is available to me anytime. I just have to go down to the Outlook icon, right-click right on the Outlook icon, and choose the template that I've pinned, at which point it will write a new email for me. Now in tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you the exact same idea, but this time around using a macro in order to launch your template file. Um, and that'll allow you to make a button right in the Outlook interface. So today's, uh, we pin it to the start menu. In tomorrow's, we add a macro to, to execute on it. 